This book is all about fate, love, and a second chance at life and relationships. Richard Paul Evans back on the show to talk about the riveting conclusion of the Broken Road trilogy. This was in my car all weekend long, and two people tried to steal it. And I said, no, 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 I'm not done reading. I have to wrap up this trilogy. Um, this is it. This, this is hold it. That yeah. up. This is the one. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Um, New York Times bestselling author. This book will be just as amazing as the other two. If you've read The Broken Road and The Forgotten Road, you need to know what's in here. Right? Yeah, this is, actually this is um, like, you know those candies that are really sour on the outside? Warheads, mm -hmm. right? And then you get to the inside and sweet. Like Sour Patch Kids. Exactly. I would run into like people on the road, it's like, I didn't like the guy in the first book. I said, well, it's a story of redemption. You have to not like him. So this was the fun one to write and it's the fun one to read because you see the change that this man has gone through. Okay, so we're talking about Charles. That's the main character. Charles James. Yeah. What happened, like share with our viewers a little bit, what happens to Charles in that first book that gets him to where he is in this book? Well, he's starting to realize he doesn't like this life of just taking people's money. He's a stage presenter and that's what he does. And, and then he goes to get on a plane and he leaves his computer off the plane. It's in Chicago, here it's really busy. He runs off to get it, can't get anyone to see him, grabs it and the plane takes off without him. He can't get back on and the plane crashes, so everyone thinks he's dead. So um, he's trying to figure out what to do now that everyone thinks he's dead. It's kind of a chance of a lifetime. It's like, well, he can reinvent himself. Yeah, what would you do would you if do? you had another, right? That's what it explores. Exactly. Another yeah. shot another at another your shot life. At life yes. And self-discovery. How does he obtain that well, on this journey? And it's really a love story because he's, he's, he keeps having these dreams about walking this road. And so he ends up walking Route 66. He lives in Chicago. His ex-wife, who he still loves, lives in Santa Monica, which happens to be the end of Route 66. So he starts walking it and his therapist tells him, it's like, you know, there's a reason you're walking. He's like, no, it just, it's a coincidence. When you were writing this, were you thinking, I mean, it's interesting, what makes people happy? Because it's like he had it all and he was still horribly unhappy. Right, well, he, he did. Well, he, the things he thought would make him happy right. didn't. And the, and the things that and I find in my own life would make me happy now are like, that the grandchildren are coming over today and they're, you know, and the funny things they say, it's like, you know, the little things are what start to make you happy. Do we find you a little bit in these pages? Oh, that's a dangerous and thing your to Like say, your yeah. journey a little bit? Oh, uh, I, I, some of it. Really? I mean, I'm in every book to some degree. I'm even Dr. Hatch and Michael Vick. I mean, it's like, like pieces of you. Every, I would think so because there has to be part this is of a labor of love for you. I mean, is this a character you can let go now that it's the third yes. book? And you can. I can be done. Yes. But I mean, I wrote this book because the Walk series was so huge. I mean, more than a million copies and it keeps selling. And people wanted another book about someone exploring. So that's when I wrote this one. Now, this one's done. Why do you think? Why do we want a book about redemption? and inspiration and finding Oh, ourselves. I love stories of redemption. We love it because, because it makes us believe that we can be that, that we can be better, that we can uh, be who we want to be. I would agree. I saw myself in Charles. Did you really? A little bit. No, just, I mean, moments, I think you will too. You'll find parts of Charles that you go, yeah, I felt that way. It's a fun ending. It's, it, it, it surprised me, I have to say, the way it ended. And um, I haven't found anyone How does an who ending could... surprise the writer that writes the ending? Oh, they have a life of their own. When I got there, it's like, oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't see that coming. What? Yeah. Yeah. It's not all plotted out in your head before you no. write it? No, some writers do that. I, I'm kind of like a step, I'm a on stage comedian, kind of like just improv. Just see yeah. what comes out. See what happens, yeah. And you're surprised by the ending, so our viewers will be too. If you are going on vacation, if you're on a flight, if you're sitting by a pool, if you're just at home right now, you need this book. Can you start here or do you need no, to do the other two? No, no, no. You, no. This is you and he's so confused. No. So you start with The Broken Road. Okay. And so a lot of people like, don't start series because they don't want to wait three years. Right. And so now you can go out and start all three. Broken right. Road, Forgotten Road, The Road Home. The Road Home, everybody. We are wrapping it up. Richard is doing so many book signings in Utah and Idaho. They're on your screen, but we'll also put them on our website. Go to abc4.com slash gtu. You, you can go say hi to him um, and also follow him on social media and his website. It's all right there. Always nice when you stop by. Thank you so, so much. So good to see you. Up next